Good morning everybody, welcome to My Creative Time with Emma and also welcome to another Manly Monday. Today is the day that my team and I create um, manly projects, okay? But before we get into what I've made today, I want to go ahead, I sent out a newsletter yesterday. I was going to do it um, Thursday or Friday, but I didn't want to until I had answers. I realized usually when I have new releases, we send out all the orders, usually I always get an email or message or somewhere someone posts on social media and say they, they got their happy mail. Well, <clears throat> excuse me, I realized that I nobody was saying they got it and I was like, well, wait a minute, I wonder what's going on. So um, I checked and I realized we had a huge problem with all the deliveries, okay? So it's been resolved, thankfully. Um, I spent... Thursday just getting it all sorted out um, and I like I said I wanted to to send you all a newsletter last week but then I don't I didn't want to send anything until I knew for sure everything was fixed so I just sent it out um, on Easter Sunday evening um, and basically all of your tracking numbers should be updated now um, and and the thing is that this I've been doing this now for 10 years and this is the first time this has ever happened so I apologize for that and I and I thank you all for your patience um, I appreciate that um, so basically your tracking numbers are being updated right now so it's going to tell you when your um, package will be arriving a lot of them are coming on Monday a lot of them are coming on Tuesday so hopefully you're in that window um, so I can't wait for you to finally get them. Like I said, everything's resolved now with my post office, so we don't have to worry about that again. Um, so hopefully you all got the newsletter and for the update, just in case. And I went ahead and I, and I after that I had gotten a couple of emails as well um, regarding it. So everything's fixed, so I'm so happy. I cannot wait for you to get your goodies, okay? So anyways, let's go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I made, okay? So I used my brand new, um, <clears throat> these are the ABC dies. Um, and I'm just using like one as a little initial. And then I'm using my newly revised, the Stitch Treat Sleeve Die. This is, I had this, <coughs> excuse me, I had this already prior, um, but I had it redone with my current manufacturer. And I had it redone so this way you could get a little bit more for your money at an affordable price. But without, with, um, how, how should I say it, having the same quality as you, you're used to from my dies. So what I did was I added um, two layering dies. So basically, here goes the, the bottom layer and the top layer. So just so you can have some coordinating tags to go with this. And then here, I added two right here, uh, the top layer and the bottom layer. So this way, we could kind of dress up our, they could have a tag dedicated to this, and we could dress up our little treat sleeve, and I think it'll look super cute. So, I didn't, when I first got that die, of course, I tested it to make sure everything was all good. So I have this paper. I have this, um, this was actually a, a paper that fell out of one of my <laughs> paper pads. I don't know which one it came from, so I'll have to look into that, but it's, it's a really cute one. It's definitely for it. A lot of girls are playing games too, but mainly this is for, I think it's for a boy because of the colors. It has a whole bunch of little re different remote controls on here uh, that goes with different gaming systems. And I thought this would be cute to put a little, because um, it's called a treat sleeve, but you could use it for, you could, I think a gift card will fit in here as well. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and, <clears throat> excuse me, put in some little crinkle paper here. And then we're going to go ahead and add this cute little Reese's. But before we do that, let me go ahead. We're going to put this hanging from here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and make a hole on this sleeve really quick. Let me grab my hole puncher. <coughs> um, where is that? Okay, here we go. Let me see which... Okay, so we are going to go ahead and we're just going to punch a small hole right here. And I'm going to use some black twine for this. Let's see. Just going to go ahead and punch it right there. Okay, and let me grab some black twine. <clears throat>
All right, here we go. And then we're just going to add this to it. Nothing, you know, just something super simple. But before we put that on, I went ahead and I put some pop-up tape on this and we're going to put the let initial A on here. I love, love these letter dies because they do come with a little shadow behind it. Super cute. You could use it with or without the shadow. Of course I got to use it with it because I really love that it matches. All these colors coordinate perfectly with this cute little envelope. Um, and then I'm just going to go ahead and I like that this has already loop so I don't have to put any holes in the tag. So we're going to put it through that little hole there. And let me make sure. There we go. So I'm just going to go ahead and just tie it here with a simple little bow. Nothing, nothing fancy. Pull these little things through here. Alrighty. There we go. And then we're going to go ahead and just put this little Reese's in here. And we'll just go ahead and just add a few more little, little, I love this little crinkle paper. And like I said, you could put a little gift card in here to like a little game stop or, you know what I'm saying? I think that'll be super cute. But I figured why not put a little treat in there? Who doesn't like Reese's Pieces, right? Um, so that is it. That is my little super easy manly card for you today. Manly project, I should say. So that is my project for today. So basically when I had put this together, it's the same way like you put this together like the regular um, treat sleeve die. Um, you go ahead and you, you fold it up in the back and there is little stitching there and there's stitching here. So when you close it you can see the stitching perfectly. But I've decided just to go ahead and leave it open because I think it looks super cute. So that is it for today everyone. Uh, super easy and I had this already cut out because I've had projects um, actually prepared for last week that I never was able to get around to. Um, so I figure I'm just going to, I don't want to waste them, so I'm going to use them this week. Um, so that is it, everyone. Um, go ahead and head on over to my blog at www.creativetimeforme.com to see what the rest of my amazing team has for you today. Um, and that's it, everybody. I cannot wait for you to all get your goodies in the mail and to see what you all create with it. So thank you so very much for tuning in. Have a fabulous day and I will see you all back here soon. Bye-bye.